Player profile time again, gentlemen. And this time, this is the first time we're going to have a defender into the player profile. What about, what about the famous random player profile goals to games ratio? Yeah, we love that. We did for that. Well, we can still mention it, but it's not going to be significant. Well, I, don't, got, I don't rate him then. Have you got a tackles? <laughs> have you got a tackles? I can make one up. Is it it Paolo Maldini? No. Oh. Oh. No, it isn't. But it is. It is his mentor. Franco Baresi. Franco (laughs) Baresi. That's good. Born May the 8th, 1960. Yes. Off to a winner straight (laughs) away. He has won that sperm race. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, (laughs) that's true, mate. Literally. Yeah. Millions of people could have been born. Yeah, that's right. And he was so good at defending that they didn't have twins. Do you, do you reckon he like he, he like blocks them all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Franco Baresi. Um, he's acknowledged as being one of the greatest defenders ever to play. Yeah, mm. he really is. I mean, he, he kind of sort of. You talk about Beckenbauer and well, maybe even Bobby Moore. It might be slightly generous. I don't know. And Maldini. And Mel, yeah, all the Bramble, Lucky <laughs> Moore yeah. in his early days. And I'm. I'm Big target man now, so uh, yeah. Well, I've seen it in your earlier days yeah, 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 um, yeah. before you could move. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brazy, he's right up there. I mean, if you, you're talking about best 11 of all time, yeah, you might even be tempted. Oh, no one would bat so much as a flicker of an eyelid if you put him in there mm. in, your, in your best 11 of all time. Absolutely, Jamie Carragher probably would. Jamie yeah. Carragher <laughs> would probably get his Do wife, <laughs> 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 yeah, because that is his rightful place, yeah, yeah. Don and whatever you fucking do it better be centre back because I ain't playing right back <laughs> <laughs> making that the greatest team of all time Nick, Jamie you're in where am I playing? Uh, right back fuck off <laughs> boys yeah. Him. Him. fuck off <laughs> oh the lazy stereotyping on you yeah, yeah. Um, Baresi was part of the great sort of AC Milan uh, under Capello yeah of the late 80s yeah. early 90s um, I mean the, <laughs> this was their uh, their back four and it's Considered one of the best back fours in history. Probably even better than the Arsenal back four. Vintage Arsenal back four. <laughs> Bere- didn't really do anything. <laughs> didn't really win much. Yeah. Offside. Um, <laughs> Baresi, Maldini, Alessandro costa Curta, Mauro Tosotti. Tosotti, yeah. Baresi is one of those few players who spent his entire career at one club. Yeah. Milan are good for them. Well, yeah. They do yeah. sort of tend to hold on to their players. They retire really a lot of jerseys for Milan. <laughs> They do, yeah. That's probably why Ronaldinho is number 80. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, well, they retired the number six, six really. yeah, yeah. One player who's also spent his entire career at one club is, is Ryan Giggs. Yeah, yeah. True, actually, yeah. You know? Doesn't sound very happy about it, though, does it? No. <laughs> um, he's, I'll give you his goals to Ratio Verazzi. 532 appearances, 16 goals. Is that one a season? So, uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I'm sure it's a belt. And for yeah. the national team, 81 appearances and, and just the one goal. Baresi retired in 97 when he was 37 but uh, he won six um, Serie A titles with Milan and three European Cups wow. yeah. yeah absolutely and as I said I, I, I don't think, care what he's won it's <laughs> <laughs> a corner phrase I think, <laughs> I, think um, I think one of the well I, wouldn't, I don't know if you call it an achievement but certainly you know the, the fact that he did mentor Paolo Maldini a lot and the way Maldini turned out you know he's got to yeah. take a lot of credit there he was a part of the 1982 World Cup winning squad, yeah. um, but he didn't actually play. So he's got a winner's medal, but he didn't actually well, play. How old would he have been there? Like 21? He was age 22. Right. Um, yeah. and he, he, he made his World Cup debut really in 1990 when they got to the semi final. So uh, he's got a third place medal there. And in 94, he got the silver medal. So yeah. he's got all three. Yeah. So that's probably what we've going for. Uh, maybe, <laughs> why, maybe why he missed that penalty in the yeah. final. Um, Funnily enough, he missed four matches in the 94 World Cup. I, don't, I forgot this. After the Italy's group match against Norway, he um, had to go out in, under emergency surgery and they wanted to get him back for the final. But you see, think about it, he was a bit injured. Rabaggio was a bit injured yeah. in the final. But it was, it was a real shame that he missed that penalty in the, in the final. And I think Barry Davis summed it up for me when he said, oh, what a sad moment for a great player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Barry Davis. Barry Davis. He's made me sad. It's it crazy. Was sad. Yeah. It was sad to hear him on the Olympics. Like, he's commentating over rubbish. He's yeah. hockey and stuff. Yeah. You, I, 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 can I just take a moment to plug Barry Davis's autobiography, which definitely is my book of the week. <laughs> What's it called? Barry Davis, I Am a Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he called your own. <laughs> Imagine if he called your autobiography that. 
Yeah, we could. Well, imagine meeting with the publishers. Oh, right, Barry, yeah, take a seat. Um, <laughs> got a name for your book yet? I am a legend. <laughs> Imagine if that. Imagine they'd write it down. Yeah. You were like, no, 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 well, we just call it Cara. <laughs> <laughs> Barra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Barra. what would be great about reading Barry Davis's book is as you read it, you could just imagine his voice yeah, saying it all to you. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, you can imagine reading Joe Pasquale's <laughs> autobiography. That, sh- that should be like community service. You sit there and you read that and you imagine that in his annoying, gnat like voice. I, I think Jeremy Carragher's. Um, I think Jamie Carrey. Danny Curry, Guthrie should have to do. <laughs> Jamie Carrey's autobiography should be called uh, "Who You Calling a Fucking Fullback." <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we, back to Barazzi. Yes. Um, his uh, his honours include, as I say, three European Cups. Um, oh, it's all in Italy, of course, apart from the European Cup, because he never played outside of Italy. Yeah. Um, and then. Well, he was a golden era for Italian defending. Then, it so. certainly was, yeah. It certainly was. Yeah. He was a big part of that, and uh, he was a player of the um, AC Milan Player of the Century, which is a, a big accolade. Yeah, town, I mean, I know you, well, it's only AC Milan, but I mean, <laughs> they've had a few players. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and that, yeah, sorry, that's massive. I mean, yeah, they didn't quite take in the magnitude yeah. of that. Yeah. Did he get voted in the world famous Pele's top 100 living football? Do you know what, right? I looked at that and I, st- I saw that at the bottom of the list and I thought, yeah, so did I, how did you? So I'm not going to yeah. mention it. And Nicky Butt. <laughs> no, Butt wasn't in there. Oh, was he not? Butt was, was, was player of the 2002 yeah, World Cup. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that Pele list, I was, looking at, I was looking at it today and I said, like, Juve's in there. And so was, like, tossed down for Brazil and stuff. And yeah. It's like, oh, how can you do that? Juve? El Hadjou. Juve. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. But. Um, yeah, Franco Brazzi, uh, like a defensive genius. You know, he really was absolutely superb. Because I can remember him playing in the in the early nineties and stuff. And he, it just a masterclass. Yeah, absolute masterclass. Was he the one? I forget now. When he used to jump up for the ball, he sometimes would jump with like it, what was it? With his arms like quite rigid down his side. So he he, he, he also he developed handball it or something. He also used to do the old. Um, what was that one? Do you know what I mean? Uh, I do remember something vaguely about that, but the thing yeah. I remember him for was um, sort of. I'm not sure if he. Because you remember Claudio Gentile, the Italian uh, centre half, who was like a bit of a hatchet man, for, mm. but he was decent. And uh, I'm not sure if him and Barese's careers crossed. I think they probably would have done. Because Gentile had his best time with the 82 World Cup, and then obviously Barese came in after that. But I'm not sure that it was Gentile who, who pioneered it, but Barese made it famous, and then after that. Um, um, Fabio Cannavaro used it which was yeah. the um, instead of like when you defend like set pieces and corners and stuff you always focus on the man you're marking your man what they yeah. what Barese used to do was watch the ball and feel for the man so you'd always know his man was by feeling and always watch the ball at the same time oh, right, yeah. and he pioneered that sort of way of defending set yeah. pieces and stuff which is still used I think in mm. Italy now so that's what I'll remember him for I think but Cannavaro took that tradition on because Cannavaro was short yeah well, Barese was only five foot eight. Well, exactly, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, and, and he sort of—I think he took a lead from Barese on that. But yeah, absolutely remarkable defender, wonderful player to watch as well. Not, mm. not, not a, um, not just a keep you up in the air sort of um, typical uh, uncultured player either. He's okay with the ball at his feet as well. I think mm. it's understatement actually. Frank Barese, then. Yeah. Joins the uh, Dean Windows Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> he's inducted. He's inducted into the uh, Dean Windows Hall of Fame. Marvelous. And it's a better Hall of Fame for it, I think. Absolutely. First defender. First, well, yeah. and you can't really go. That's not the old. Um, that's not the equivalent of when Paul McGrath won Player of the Year in the pre- in, in in England, and, and defenders never win it. Yeah. You know, defenders have never in the Dean Winners Hall of Fame. That concludes.